Hey everybody, this is Greg Gossett from Gossett Trading and Mentoring. Today's Ju Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. Uh, had a nice profitable trade today on NVIDIA on the five minute chart using a return to value V2. One of my, really one of my favorite, favorite uh, approaches uh, uh, with my strategies that I use because it has such a good format and it has such a good risk to reward ratio to it. Uh, let me bring your attention to the this green line, the top green line and the bottom green line. Anywhere in between the green lines, I consider to be called the value zone. I wanna buy in value and sell above value. Or if I'm using uh, like a deep dip buy, buying lower, I want to buy below value and I want to sell in value. What I don't want to do is buy above value and then sell back when it is at value. And a lot of retail traders um, kind of fall into this trap because they chase these, these momentum moves up and, you know, occasionally they'll keep going, but most of the time they will revert back to the mean or they will return to value. So the requirements for return to value is first of all, the price must be above, must close above the top value line, or in other words, be above value. So clearly that happened here. Secondly, we, got to ha we have to come back into value, which it did here, but then it went back above value. So now we have to start all over again. So here we're above value. We return to value. The third requirement is that we need to have sideways motion. Sideways motion is important because then it shows you have an equilibrium of buyers and sellers instead of just coming into the value zone, just boom, going down. You want to see some stability, a foundation being built. So again, first requirement, we close above the value zone. Second requirement, we come back into the value zone. Third, third requirement is that we move sideways. Once those conditions are met, then if you get a V1 or a V2 entry, then that is when I take the trade. This is a V2, bar one, bar two, bar three. Bar two goes below, bar one's low. Bar three closes above, uh, bar one's close. And you can see I got long here, 11.50, and 20 cents. So above value, return to value, sideways motion, a V2 entry signal. I, al I also use what's called the V1 entry signal. Um, that includes two bars. So if it's a V1, it's, it consists of two bars. If it's a V2, it consists of three bars. And if you'd like to learn more about V1s, V2s, you can just go to my YouTube channel on the lessons playlist, look up return to value, or uh, look up return yeah, I think, I can't remember how I titled it, but just look up V1s, V2s on my YouTube channel. I have a nice video there uh, where I explain it in more detail. So now, once you trigger the V2, then first thing I always have to do is I have to place my two ATR emergency stop. This is the worst case scenario for me, okay, is the emergency stop. That's always two ATRs below my entry. Now I have another stop, which is called my end of day stop. On a V2, my end of day stop is simply a close below halfway of the washout bar. In a V1 or a V2, the bar that washes out bar one is called the washout bar because it goes below and then goes right back up. All right, so halfway, here's the bottom, here's the top, halfway is right here. So in the future here, had it just literally closed even a penny below this halfway mark, that would invalidate the V2 and I would simply be out of the trade. 95% of the time, if you have a losing trade using a return to value V1, V2, it's simply going to be because it closes below halfway of the washout bar. 5% of the time, you're going to hit your emergency stop. Okay, so return to value, sideways motion, V2, end of, day or end of bar stop, simply a close below the washout bar. My maximum allowed stop is 2 ATR. Now let's talk about profits. Well, my maximum allowed is 2 ATRs, so I want to have an asymmetrical risk. And I want to double what my maximum allowed loss was to the upside. So in other words, my, my emergency stop, my maximum allowed loss is two ATRs below. I'm going to double that 
my profit target is four ATRs above. Okay, so if I'm right, I'm gonna make twice as much as if I'm wrong. And you can see, perfect. Return to value, sideways motion, V2 entry, and right on up. That was, let's see, you can see the maximum allowed loss was about five, I'm just kind of roughing it here, 570. Yeah, 1130. So almost exactly a percentage in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, I don't know, like an hour and 20 minutes, but pretty good. $11.33 on that trade. So I really like these return to value V1s, V2s. Um, uh, you know, if this was helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button. It does help to build the channel, let YouTube know that there's some valuable content. If you'd like to learn more about my trading, I have a podcast every Saturday on YouTube. Um, well, it's called the Gossip Trading and Mentoring Weekend Review, where I go over all the uh, swing trades that I've done in the previous week, both on the daily time frame and the weekly time frame. I talk about when I entered the trade, why I entered the trade, what the strategy was or what the confluence of strategies were. And then, you know, I talk about my emergency stops, end of day stops, my profit targets, kind of exactly the same stuff as we do here, but in a little bit more detail and on the daily and the weekly time frame. And in addition to that, I cover the stocks that I'm looking, I'm, I cover the symbols and setups that I'm looking for, for the, for the, the, the next week, the week in the future. So I think you'll find it helpful and uh, I think you'll learn something. And so uh, be sure to check it out um, on the weekend. So appreciate you being here. Hope this was helpful to you and um, have a good day and uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. U.S. Government Required Disclaimer Stock, options, futures, and forex trading is not appropriate for everyone. While there is a potential for large rewards, there is also a substantial risk of loss associated with trading. The material in this video or live broadcast is not geared towards any particular individual or to any particular financial situation and is not intended to meet the particular investment objectives of any viewer. This video or live broadcast, like all instructional materials produced by Gossett Trading and Mentoring LLC, is created and published for information. We recommend consultation with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decision. This video or live broadcast is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell any security, financial instrument, or financial product of any kind. Notice is hereby given that any individual or entity involved in production of this video or live broadcast or their clients may have an interest in any security, financial instrument, or financial product mentioned or referenced. Any simulated or hypothetical performance result depicted does not represent actual trading and therefore may under or overcompensate for the impact of various market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Thank you.